We're going to do a few derivatives involving the natural log. <clears throat> and these are just a flavor of what you can see. Combinations of product rule, quotient rule, power rule, chain rule with what we know about the derivative of the natural log. So let's get started. Uh, y is the natural log of the square root of x. All right, this looks like a composition of functions with the outside being the natural log and the inside being the square root of x. So we take the derivative of the outside function. The derivative of the natural log is 1 over x, so it's 1 over x but evaluated at the inside function times the derivative of the inside function. So that's the chain rule applied now with a natural log derivative. Uh, we can clean that up a little bit. That's 1 over square root of x, oops, square root of x times 1 half times 1 over the square root of x. So that ends up being uh, 1 over 2x. Just as a sneaky way to approach this, we might have noticed that the natural log of the square root of x is the natural log of x to the 1 half, which is 1 half times the natural log of x from our log rules. And if we had noticed that, then the derivative, we would have uh, immediately had 1 over 2x for the derivative, which of course matches what we did with the chain rule. But that might be an easier way to deal with it if we're really comfortable with those log rules. Um, so let's get back to b. We've got uh, the cosine of the log of x squared plus 1. So y equals the cosine of log of x squared plus 1. Now, this is also a composition of functions, but we have two inside functions. So we're going to have to use the chain rule twice. So y prime, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and we'll evaluate that at the same place. Okay times the derivative of this inside function. So we want to multiply by the derivative of that, which is 1 over x squared plus 1. And then we want to multiply by the derivative of the inside function for that previous derivative, which is 2x. So that's our answer for this one. Um, not a lot we can do there to clean that up. That's pretty much as simplified as it gets, unless you want to write the 2x over the x squared plus 1. Uh, y equals x squared natural log of x for our final one. y equals x squared natural log of x. Now, this is a product. All right, we have two pieces of a product, so we will use the product rule. Product rule says we take the derivative of the first thing times the second thing plus the first thing times the derivative of the second thing. So y prime is 2x natural log of x plus x when I cancel out the x's there. So that's it. That's the answer for that one. That's a product rule. As you can imagine, it could very easily involve a quotient rule, a product rule, chain rule. Um, as we've seen in these examples and different combinations of these things. So it's really uh, key to know the rules and how they work rather than trying to memorize specifics because there are infinitely many functions out there and we can't memorize them all, right? So we want to know how uh, derivatives with natural logs work. This is how they work in connection with some of our, our main derivative rules.